Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So on today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a clutch here for eggs. Uh, I did actually expect them to be pipping today because th today is day 58, but none of them are pipped ironically. Um, the temperature has been completely stable at, uh, between 88.5 and 88.7, so very, very consistent. So typically at them temperatures, my eggs start to pip on day 58, but like I said, none of them are pipped, but I'll give them a little feel and I can tell if they are ready to be cut. Now things have been whirling from my head about one of the babies, one or more of the babies not being developed with an egg tooth and if it's stuck. The real reasons are I want to see what's inside because I'm very excited about this clutch. But things start whirling through your head about oh what if one can't get out. But I am really trying my hardest to let at least one pip. So for those who don't agree with cutting, maybe switch off now. For those who do, uh, when it's done correctly and not too early because I know some people cut as, as early into the late. Uh, the high 40s, uh, that's quite early. But uh, so many people are doing it and, and it, it's proving to be not detrimental to the snakes. And if it was, I simply wouldn't risk uh, cutting because you don't go through a whole breeding season waiting for the females to lay, then incubation, etc., etc., just to cut one or two days early and risk the whole clutch dying. So done correctly, it's uh, it's problem it's not a problem, but obviously the risks involved in everything, just like there's risks involved in leaving the eggs to go full term and pipping naturally on their own. So we'll take a closer look at this clutch now. So it's a superfly clown, and if you don't know what a superfly is, it means it's a super pastel fire, because a firefly is a pastel fire, and a superfly is a super pastel fire clown, uh, bred to a GHI lesser yellow belly heck clown. Now on this particular clutch, um, I want it, well not on this particular clutch, but on, on this male, he, he saw more than one clown and heck clown combo because I wanted pastel in some of the babies and I wanted to miss pastel in other babies to make them darker sort of snakes. But unfortunately, the other two snakes this male saw didn't go on to lay and I did let him go relatively early. I, I decided to sell him on because I got some harder hitting males growing up. Uh, what I talked about on that, uh, on that video where I showed some of my uh, cool hard hitters. So, lesson learned, maybe don't sell them so quickly, but it just worked out where someone wanted that particular snake and I had it, so we made that deal uh, go through. So, take a closer, we'll take a closer look at this clutch now and fingers crossed for some good odds. Right guys, so I'll show you one of the reasons why I decided to make my cut. So first and foremost is the eggs are coming away without any issues. But also I can feel, uh, that one's got a little, little tiny bit of resistance, but not a lot. I can feel the babies inside. So I'm just gently pushing against the egg and I can feel that the babies are fully developed. Now, like I said, I'm cutting these because one, I'm dying to see what's inside, but mainly because, because so many people have had issues this year. I would hate to lose a snake from not being able to get out the egg. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So obviously I'm really, really hopeful to hit some amazing clown combos. Ooh, the drum roll, the drum roll in my head. God, it's been a while since I got egg goo, snake egg goo all over me. Well, that's a clown combo. Weirdly, it looks super pastel, but it can't be. So that looks like maybe a pastel, maybe a pastel, lesser yellow belly clown maybe. Now the little bit of blood, I didn't actually expect to see that with it being due day. So we're on day 58 and typically my eggs hatch on day 58 so I'm just going to wipe that away a little bit. So first one clown combo, super pleased about that. It did look super pastel but it can't possibly be unless it's retained sperm which I'm sure it's not. I'm really hoping for a GHI clown combo and I might have just hit it. Oh no, I don't think that is clown. Oh yes it is, oh wow, look at that. Oh amazing, just 
amazing. You see that? Sorry guys, terrible camera angle. Look at head on that. That is sweet. So that looks like the Pastel JHI Probable Yellow Belly Clown Possible Fire Don't Think Lesser. So two for two. This um this clutch could be making up for my poor season. I wasn't gonna go to this egg next because I've got a feeling this one isn't gonna be a clown combo lift, but let's take a look inside and see. Oh imagine if I got all clown combos to make up for this poor season I've had. So that looks like a pastel lesser GHI. Um probably probably yellow belly as well. 100% head clown. For some reason I knew that, well I didn't know obviously, but for some reason I thought that wasn't gonna be um that wasn't going to be a clown combo. That's amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely smoking. That one will probably stay here. Like another clown combo, yeah. So that looks like it's definitely pastel clown, obviously, with a mum bean. That could be, do you know, I want to say GHI as well because the pattern's so busy and it's got that darkness to it. I wonder if that's a pastel GHI clown, only time will tell. So the reason I like waiting is because. You can put slightly bigger holes and have a bit better look so it kind of does pay to wait but because i've had a poor season things started going through my head that oh what if one form we an egg tooth and the chances are it's highly unlikely but because these are due to hatch today i thought you know what i'll just go ahead and cut them and make sure each and every baby can come out oh another clown combo wow so that's a pastel lesser, I would say a pastel lesser fire for definite. I want to say GHI as well because of that dark dorsal, the sort of um, the boldness around the dorsal. But we'll have to wait and see. But we're doing well so far, guys. Four clown combos from a visual clown to a head clown. All stack of jeans in between. Oh wow, look at that. That's just amazing. That head pattern, how clean it is, the colour, the contrast, it's just amazing. Oh, this looks a bit darker. So that looks like. That looks like a Mojave. No Mojave in it, what the heck? It's not a clown, but it looks very dark. It looks kind of... Is that a Pastel GHI yellow belly? I don't know, very strange. It does look very Mojave-ish. Looks nice though. It's absolutely gorgeous. So last egg, there's always a little bit of... Um, a little bit of sadness when you come to the last egg. That's why it's always nice to have as big a clutches as you possibly can. I'm making a right old mess. Last one, please be, please be the best one. Let's say, uh, as Billy Rose says, ask and you shall receive. So please be the absolute best one. Please, please, please. And it's not, it's just the pastel. <laughs> Pastel Heck Clown, maybe Pastel GH, you know, Pastel Heck Clown, couldn't be, <laughs> couldn't be, that's the lowest possible thing we can hatch, but I'm happy with that. So let's have a little recap of the clown combos. So that, I'm just gonna check his jaw, yeah, that looks amazing. So, Pastel, Fire, probably Yellow Belly. I want to say GHI because of how bold it is, but 
I'm not quite, not quite convinced, I'm not quite sure. So this is quite obviously pastel, lesser, I think yellow belly clown, maybe more jeans, it is hard to tell. And then that one is got to be pastel JHI. Uh, Pastel JHI yellow belly maybe? Not sure, it's just about to poke its head out. No. Doesn't want to know yet, so we'll just leave him be. Look, there's his bed. Yeah, looks, looks pretty intense. Another pastel. Oh, do you know what, guys? I'm going to stop guessing. I don't have a clue. There's a. Um, can't remember. Yeah, that's not. So. So we've got one, two, three, four clown combos and three heads. Can't be disappointed at that. Stay tuned for the updates. Now, it'll take them probably two days to come out. So hopefully in a couple of days, I'll have a cool update and we'll take a much closer, better look at them. Cheers, guys. So I'm very happy with that clutch. Can't really fault having one more uh, clown combo than a head. So the odds did swing slightly in my favour, which is always nice. Uh, I do wonder, so after I've stopped filming, I had a little close look at the one I was very unsure about. I do wonder if it's actually the six gene clown combo being pastel, fire, GHI, lesser, yellow belly clown. So a six gene clown combo, which is just crazy. If it is, I really hope it's a male, for obviously you can see more than one female, and you can make some amazing heads with all them genes involved. And then I hope the rest of the babies are kind of female because there's a real demand for female clown and head clown combos at the moment. There's a huge demand for them. So I'm hoping for good odds with the sexes. And as soon as they're out and ready, guys, I'll do an update and show you uh, what, what we have got. I, I, I see GHI in one or two of them and including the clowns and head clowns. So I'm super excited to finally make my GHI clowns. I've missed them two years running. Uh, so fingers crossed my IDs are correct. Now I will just say, every time I cut eggs uh, early, there is a sense of, uh, what's the word? A bit of a sense of, I should have waited. I don't know what the word is. I always feel like oh, I should have waited. It would have been a little bit better video without that little bit of blood coming from the veins, etc. But it is what it is. So lesson learned, I need to hold, hold, uh, have a stronger hold on my waiting. So the next clutch, I'm going to wait till one picks, I think, and then uh, and then show you guys what's in the rest of the eggs. So that clutch, uh, I think, is the Super Orange Dream Yellow Belly Disco bred to an Orange Dream Fire Calico. There's only three eggs because the female uh, stopped eating and and stopped eating a little bit early, and I just thought she's kind of borderline. She was only about 1600 grams. I kind of backed the males off thinking nothing would happen and boom, she laid a clutch of eggs. Uh, three eggs and I think of two slugs. Is what it is, lesson learned. But um, so I'm excited to show you that one. So, so hopefully a Super Orange Dream, Yellow Belly Disco, Calico Fire, number 16 animal. That would be crazy. The oranges and the, the highlights of that snake will just be amazing. So I'll show you that one on my next cutting video. And that's all for today, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it two thumbs down. Rexship doing amazingly well. Thank you all for your custom. It's mind blowing just how fast Rexship is growing in the UK. So thank you all for your custom. And I am, I'm really looking forward to hearing your uh, experiences with Rexship and, and sharing all the positivity Rexship brings. So thanks once again, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. <laughs>